What's going on, people? Welcome to United Stand. Welcome to the road trip for the Carabao Cup. Quarterfinals against Colchester United, man. Massive game. Big game. They're all big games at the moment. Um, you just don't know what Man United team is going to show up. But um, the games are coming thick and fast. It's literally done the other road trip a couple of days ago. It feels like I'm always in this car going into football. Um, but it's good. We want to we want to see the team play. But hopefully we can get a positive result and get through to the semi-finals. Touching on Solskjaer's press conference, he said how important it is and how seriously he's taking it. And I think he should. I think he should. I know um, the EFL Cup is is not a prestigious cup, but I think in the context of our players, of where they're at, he's right. We've got quite a few young players, a few players in their first seasons. Um, and him and his, um, him, him as a manager in his first full season with United as well. So it would do everyone uh, and the project um, good. Of course it will. Um, will it mean that, you know, it, it definitely means we're going in the right direction because we win the, the League Cup? Probably not because we won the League Cup under Jose and it, it still kind of ended in tears. So it doesn't mean that it's just because you go on a good cup run, but it does breed confidence. There's no doubt about that. And as fans, obviously, no matter what competition we're in, we want our team to win and we want a day out of Wembley. So, um, yeah, why not? You saw Liverpool get dispatched off yesterday with their, what was that, 10th string team, I'd say. Um, but that leaves Aston Villa. You've got Leicester and Everton planes. So it's a strong team there. Um, City are almost certainly going to beat Oxford. Um, so the team's left will be strong after after this. So hopefully we get favourable during the semi-finals if we can get past Colchester today. Um, and look, I know everyone's saying like, you know, they're what, they ninth in division in, in um, League Two and stuff like that. And we are overwhelmingly favourites and we absolutely should be. But with Man United, look, look at Rochdale. Look what Rochdale did. You know, that they took us to penalties, man. And, and, and also you can't underestimate the fact that Colchester have taken Spurs and Palace to penalties. So, um, after two nil-nil draws. So it's, I don't want to say it's going to be a tough game because you don't really want to admit that or say that with a League Two, but we have to be realistic. Obviously, whatever team we put out should beat them comfortably, but if you don't apply it, if you don't earn the right to play, if you think that you're just going to win and don't um, have that intensity um, or that tactical nous or that, that way of playing, then um, we're going to be in trouble because they will sit back. They will sit back and they will have the ball. If we thought Everton did that, my God, Colchester's going to be a different game. So for me, similar to the AZ Alkmaar game, man, I, I know people might say, oh, that might be too strong or whatever, but I don't care. I've seen, I've seen this team prove me right in terms of applying themselves against lesser lesser opposition or the, or the smaller teams, should I say. So for me, um, I'm saying that I would like to see, again, a mixture of youth and experience. Um, I think across the back, there's you know Ashley Young, two in Zabie, I play Jones. You know, you lot might go, oh my God, Jones, no way. But I play Jones against Colchester United, and Brandon Williams should start for me. Romero in goal, um, midfield. You probably assume Matic is going to come back in there. I put Pereira in there, and I probably start McTominay or Fred. To be honest, I wouldn't want to play McTominay and Matic though. To be fair, so depending on who Solskjaer goes for, I don't want those two to be a pair. But we need someone in there who's going to have a bit of pace to the play. Because we can't just have units just sitting there trying to make things happen. But um, yeah, so for me, I, I, I'd, I'd go with that. I think Jesse's got to play somewhere. Um, Mason definitely starting. Want to see him get 90 minutes without a doubt. Um, Matt has surely got to start this game. So, you know, experience and, you know, mixing in the youth with that. Angel Gomez has gone missing for a little while. I saw something on uh, on uh, social media saying that he'd taken Man United out of his bio and he might leave and stuff like that. Who knows? But this is the perfect time to play someone like him. Chong, I'm, I'm almost certain, will be involved. Um, the Solskjaer start him. Hasn't been doing too well. Didn't do great against Astana. Um, but he came off the bench against uh, AZ. Did okay when he came on. So maybe a start for him. Um, Ethan Laird, maybe, a right back. I don't, wouldn't mind that. So a little bit a little bit of, um, of youth. Maybe James Garner in there again. But if he does play... Because that midfield against that half time when we was against Alkmaar when it was um, I think it was Mata, Garner and Matic, it just wasn't working for me. Um, it just didn't have the bite, it didn't have the creativity. So if Garner does play, I think he does need to play with McTominay um, for me or Fred. Um, so we'll see. But the main thing is obviously we've got to get the win. I don't want to be going through no penalties, any bullshit like that. Let's just go and get the job done so we can look forward to a semi final. Um, hopefully we get a home draw. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't I, Look, after that, I don't mind who we get. Um, and I wouldn't mind sitting in the semi-final at home at Old Trafford. That'd be nice. 
you know, knowing that you got a really good chance in the final or City in the final really would be would be a real test actually. I don't want the easy way for a change of mind. Yeah, I would I would love to get City in the final. Um, cause they'll be looking for revenge obviously for when we beat them the other week and, and they've won the EFL Cup the last two seasons so you know Pep's going to take it seriously and we'll have to obviously change the team selection for them so big game and hopefully we get the right result Miles what are you thinking? Yeah man uh, must win must win tournament all the tournaments we're in I think mm. are must win um, we've never really been in a position where every tournament is must win like usually we're going for the Prem going for Champions League whatever whatever but now that we're not and you know that's not that's not me trying to moan or nothing. Yeah. But now that we're not, why not go for a, you know? Absolutely, we're in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Want if us to go if out. we lift that trophy, I'll be gassed. Yeah. Like, I can't lie. Um, so yeah, let's yeah just get the win by all means. Play the youth, um, but hopefully you know they've been training well enough together that they can put out a solid performance. Mm. Um, but also knowing in the back of their heads that they need this W big time. Do you, do you worry? Like you see, like how we struggle to break down teams that sit down, sit in front of us and, and stuff like that, like we've always seen. You saw what Rochdale did, um, we struggled. Uh, do you think it could be the same or do you think finally these players will, um, you know? Yeah, there, 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 there is always that in the back of my head, I do worry, but I feel like a lot of the games where we haven't been able to break teams down have been with a certain with certain players. Yeah. So for example, in the Premier League more often than not. Yeah. So where you've got different players who can do something different, like for example, if Greenwood starts and plays the whole game, if we can't break break them down, I can see Greenwood pulling something out of nothing, you know, like he did in the last game, scoring from a tight angle, putting it through two players kind of thing. So I feel like with a change of personnel, maybe someone could do something to like a Greenwood to just show a bit of a bit of. Uh, He's got a start in it, Greenwood. I mean, yeah. Solskjaer said in the press conference about, you know, is someone asked him, is is, is Mason giving you an argument to, to start like in yeah. in Premier League games? And Solskjaer saying. Yeah. yeah, he's making it difficult for me to leave him out. And games like this, he's been shining in as well. So you expect a big performance from him? Yeah, oh yeah, big time. I think if he plays today, I think he bags at least one. And if he doesn't, I think he has a good game. He's just like every time he's come on and you know played in the Premier League or in the Europa League, he's he's had he's had a, a really good impact on the game. So yeah. I think now is his time to shine. Put him one, throw him in there for the whole game. Yeah, you got, nine you, minutes, isn't it? Yeah, you got absolutely nothing to lose if he doesn't come out of any goals. He's still a young kid, you know what I'm saying? Right now, he's doing more than he should be for me, yeah, I think, you know what I'm saying? Um, he's getting the goals that we need in games where we can't break a team down. Yeah. At 19 or whatever it is he, he is, you know what I'm saying? 18 even. Mad. Mad, um, mad, mad, yeah. mad. That's actually insane. That's I can't crazy. believe it. What were you doing at 18? You know 18, I, mean? <laughs> I, was, I was just trying to make it like um, union. Yeah, you know? Exactly, <laughs> you know what I mean? Man playing first team. Yeah, so. yeah, for real. There you go. And you know what else I was thinking about? I just remembered the fact that FA Cup third round is Wolves away. So we're talking about prioritising cups. I'm not saying we're going to lose that, but well, last <laughs> I hate going week, there. And every time we've gone there, there, we've lost. Well, I know we drew this season, but yeah. Wolves, we just can't seem to beat. Um, hate going there, absolutely hate it. Yeah. Um, so that's going to be tough to get through that. So this, you know, we're at the last stages of this, so it's, it's got to be um, our priority as well. Just yeah. before we finish off, What's your thoughts of the Pogba situation? Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I, you know, he's going crazy on social media. Now he's ill. Um, yeah. Oli's saying that you know he's, he, he's putting back a, a little bit because he's, yeah. he's now got an illness and stuff. Yeah, yeah. What's, what's your take on it? Yeah, I mean, couple things, couple things. Let's just touch on the fact that he is allowed, yeah, yeah. to be at his brother's wedding and dance and do what he wants to do without yeah. that affecting his football or yeah. people saying anything. So that's a separate issue. Anyone saying that oh he shouldn't have been dancing at his brother's wedding, dumb, you idiots, whatever. Yeah. But what I tweeted the other day was is that anyone who thought Pogba was coming back was is um like is dumb in my mind because I never ever like for me I can see that he doesn't want to be there which is fine mm. and he wants to leave and I think he will be sold whether in this in January or at the end of the season but he doesn't want to come back and you know all the excuses Oli's making now I think Oli's kind of showing that he's not really a manager that can grab someone and be like, yo, we need you. So you don't think he wants to come back? I don't think so. You think he's basically going on strike then? I think so. And I think Oli's letting him. Okay. For Oli to come out and be like, you know, he's um, got an illness now. Mm. It's like, bro, you, like, I don't remember the, the last player I've seen who has been out for the majority of the season, but still been active on social media. I know Pogba is a different kind of guy. He is a social media guy, but he's been super active on social media. Done one or two, like, you know, on you know, videos or plays on the on the treadmill or whatever, showing that he's like working on getting back. But you know, he's flying out here and there doing press stuff, whatever he's doing in America, in Miami, whatever, whatever he's doing. 
but then now that it's time to come back, he's ill again. So for me, there's no real. Um, so you I don't just, think it's a coincidence? No, not at all. Okay. Not at all. I just think he's he's expressed that he doesn't want to come back, um, and Oli's kind of allowing him to not come back. Okay. I think obviously he has to come back at some point because he needs to get his moves wherever yeah. he wants to go. But yeah. it's it's mad weird, and I, I I never thought he was. Not to say that I don't think I was going to see him come back again this season, but I just I just never saw him. I just I just don't see him coming back. Okay, all right. I I I I I think that. He does want to leave, he but I don't. I don't. I don't think he's going on strike. I, I think he. He's well. They've made him play with yeah. that injury. Yeah. We have got to think of that about how it's been managed. He's they, he's been playing on that injury and has needed to have surgery. So the club got to look at that. Yeah. Pogba hasn't helped himself. Them, them comments for the for, from the summer. I absolutely stand by. Yeah. I think he should have gone then because yeah. he wanted to go. Yeah. You don't come out and say I'm looking at any chance. I get that, but. I actually do. Maybe you could call me stupid. I actually do think it's, it is a coincidence that okay. he's 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 sick. Yeah. I do. I honestly do. I I, I just feel like I, I don't think that he's um going on strike. I just don't feel that. Mm. I don't. I don't. And I think he would almost certainly play for us again okay. this I mean, season yeah, I for mean, sure. Okay, I think yeah. he will. He will I, I, I can't see the club letting him go in January because it'd just be a stupid move, and yeah. we for sure won't have anyone lined up. Yeah. Um, and if he did leave then that would be an absolute disgrace because the whole time they've been saying, especially Solskjaer, you know, he's, he'll be here, he's going to play a lot more games. Yeah, and really blah, blah, blah. That means he would have been just lying to us as fans and that would really piss me off. Yeah, but um, yeah, yeah. What do you guys think? It's been in the news um, all week. Um, the dancing thing, absolutely. It's just, I don't, you know, people say, yeah, but he's playing basketball. He wasn't fucking playing a five-on-five five or a one-on-one, you know breaking ankles and doing crossovers. He took, he took a couple of free throws. Like Anyone can do that. Yeah. Like, do you know what I'm saying? You, you, you can take shots from basketball in a wheelchair. Yeah. So why can't you do it if you can stand up? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just, so just because you're not of the club, you don't own these players. So exactly. People think like he shouldn't have a life because he's coming back. And he's just about ready to train. He's been on grass. Yeah, so exactly. that's bullshit. And I think people, like I said, if he was doing the Macarena, then what? You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, I, th- I think he's coming back, man. But I do agree. He does want to leave. He won't yeah. be here at the end of the season. But I don't think he's going on strike. Score prediction of today? Uh, comfortable 3-0. Okay. Confident, feeling yeah. confident, three 0 man. Yeah. Yeah. If we need it. Just go get it done. Yeah. And let's try and get further in this competition. I'm gonna go with a four-one wow. because uh, I think Phil Jones will play, and when oh. he plays, <laughs> <laughs> when he plays, um, that's a bit unfair. That's a bit of an agenda in it, but maybe not. It's not I'm, agenda because because we've been proved right. Versus... But I don't want to pick him out. So, but you know who I'm talking about anyway. So technically, I have picked him out. Anyway, some bullshit will happen where we'll concede a mad goal, maybe a penalty or something. I don't know, corner or own goal. Something mad will happen. But I think, yeah, I think maybe four-one. Um, having said that, you just <laughs> we could struggle for ages. Mason Greenwood one-nil yeah, and we scrape it. I still think we, that could equally as happen we as well. Win this game. I don't think I don't see us losing. This game that yeah, well. yeah, exactly. Um, weather. Pff, it's going to be proper wet up there, mate. I think it's going to be fucking nice. proper Cheers. raining, windy. So, fan cams. you know, fan cams, lovely. We'll see you guys after the fan cams. Oh, there's an accident up here, so we're coming to a halt. That's lovely. Good thing we've left seven hours early. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not looking forward to the weather up there, but uh, I'm getting a bit of food and drink in the box, actually, so I should be all right, actually. All right. Thanks, should be nice. all right. Um, drop your views in the comments in the boxes below. Your team selections. And all of that jazz, let us know what you say, man. And we see you guys after the fan comes, hopefully, with a positive result. I say that at the end of every road trip, and it very rarely is, but this one should be. Peace. Big thank you to you guys for watching the latest of our videos. And if you want to check out more, make sure you do that just to the right of me. We are the biggest and best Manchester United channel in the world. Make sure you check us out on all of the socials as well. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. The socials are along the bottom. Peace.